Welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. I'm Ace Aid, and today I'm playing as my own country, Ireland, in the road to 56. And this time, I'm going to be siding with the Axis. So once the big um, election comes up, I'm going to be following Fine Gael Triumphant. Then immediately go into this just to get rid of that, that annoying little debuff there. Then these. Then follow in moderate appeasement and work my way towards Ireland's opportunity. I'm not going to join the war until I think I'm ready. So, now I've got that out of the way, start off by getting the Irish General Staff because we are going to need the ticking arm XP. Quickly, or take our. I think. And research wise, we have four slots as opposed to the three we'd have in the base game, so, usual startup. And I think I'll go with steel production because we're going to need that. Spine our Mayos. Using Fort Workshop. We can actually build artillery in this game. And I'm unsure if I'll go with um, Marines or Paratroopers. I try Paratroopers. I almost never do. And for four, for buildings, I'm actually not going to get some infrastructure to start out with. What I am going to do is build up these, because they're very quick, and I know the Brits are going to try naval invading at some point if we do this. Find this guy to here. But Michael Costello, because the extra attack and defense on core territory is going to be very helpful. And, uh, yep, get into it. So, one thing that the um, model allows us to do is form the Celtic Republic. I did a playthrough a couple of weeks ago where I started as that. Let's see if we can actually try forming it. So for that, I do need to join the Axis. I'm going to go with Dispersed Industry because I know the Brits are going to bomb us if we join the Axis. Well, when in this game. And I might as well sort out my Myos here one. Magazine for Workshop. Soft Attack. Output cost, hence we like soft attack. I almost always go with semi-auto rifles. The way I'm viewing this is we can probably get more bang for our buck with our low population and industry than we could with, say, bolt actions. Those bolt actions are easier to build. I leave that for now because it makes them far more expensive. Here's thing would be helpful. Through. A little bit of breakthrough, it doesn't cost as much. This gives us some extra defense and hard attack. It does make them more expensive, but at that point, I think it'll be worth it. Three. Yeah, to speed quicker when we actually do have those. Breakthrough. Let's see. Soft attack, hard. I will need anti breakthrough. It does make our artillery a lot more, a bit more expensive. But we can get, get the efficiency of. And this basically offsets the cost. And I'll probably go with this for the extra hard attack breakthrough because artillery we're going to use a lot is the king of battle. Let's see for Ford Cork. Again, I almost always go with reliability. Less reliable, but cheaper to produce. Let's see, yeah. Probably not going to end up getting mechanized, but. Let's see. Oh, yeah. In and I can manufacture.
Rush time here to try and make the um, support equipment cheaper. Size up. I'll go rapid upscaling here. Fun scaling would be nice. About half of this too, but. Uh, oh, yeah. Basically, I'm only going to bother going with fighters for this. This isn't going to be worth us doing anything else. Speed and agility. Bring ancient air attack. Air attack. And grand attack. Laser. Defense. And then fire speed. Basically, I'm going to be going with fighters that can laser do close air support. Because we need to keep our skies clear. Get construction one. I am going to go into anti air. We are going to need to build static anti air. Now, I am saving up my political power to get an, another chief because we can get army XP just from exercises on the general staff. I'm not going to go with this guy because I'll lose because I'll lose him once we get the. Well, actually, I might as well go with him now. Just build up, build up the XP. Because once we get by a fascist government, we will have to go. We can get this guy. Better. For now, this guy is cheap, and we need and we need this art, this ticking XP now. So, are redesigning a few things. So this is going to be my. I call it the home guard. afford this yes I need to seriously need to dating some of these I do have a plan to do a mod that would turn that would add Irish names and voices to this but I decided that's a while away because I do already have a, another mod installed that it's a unique um, infantry. That's the generic infantry that we'd be using. And that's the custom one that kind of... A lot of um, Irish infantry were... Their equipment was derived from either German or British stock. So that somebody's created a mod that has this as a kind of unique visual identifier. Like, it's utterly useless. It has absolutely no... I don't want to say no purpose, it just adds some cosmetic flavor to the game. I honestly. Okay, I could go with these um, garrisons, but they take forever to move. You can see just how slow they are. They're basically meant to sit in one place and do nothing, and I'd rather have the regular infantry who can at least get there quicker. When the, when things inevitably go wrong, that's just me. Yeah, I'll get into the artillery after that. For fuels instead of fuels after fuel storage, I'll use this. Ah, uh, what you got? Well, a special forces bonus, but let's be honest, it's just for some. Now that is going to use up some of our. In some of our political for being it so quickly, but it's oh, it's only for a huh. I've just noticed that the next election is in January 37. Well, it was July 37. Well, maybe some maybe something changed in the mod was updated yesterday and that corrupted my previous save game, so I'm kind of stuck. Oh, let's see. Recon camp, cavalry recon. Let's see now. Equipment, we are going to need this. Main reason I'm getting actually bothered with the with, uh, recon is we already have sniper teams researched. You can see it buffs some um, soft attack. The buff the soft attack that are of our, our detachments and companies. But it means that 
all of our um infantry motorized mechanized specialized uh special forces they'll get some extra soft attack or hard attack like it's such a simple thing the one that isn't in the base game the reason i'm going down this path first rather than these is i need to have some of the germans or somebody Proving of us, and might as well just wait until I'm actually the until I actually have government here, just to so I can benefit from this. And this. to me, it just doesn't really make sense to go there. Close the up to the uh, to the Yanks, and then turn on them. And I probably need to get these factories anyway. I'm going to go. Straight into construction two because I'm gonna need that. And after this one, go back and get this Ford V8. I don't lose a lot of time by doing this, but might as well do it anyway. And get some of this stuff out. Yeah, the trade war we have is really screwing around with our construction speed. So, scale these back a little bit for now. Let's focus on the on the infrastructure and these. One that is good. This will build to get this because we are going to need the need refineries. Let's see, can I? Can I add? I need a, a chief of the air force. Start getting some XP. The next person will be a chief of navy. Probably this guy because we're going to get screens probably. And cap. All right, land doctrines. Hmm. I say it's going to be a toss up between superior firepower and grand battle. I almost always go with this because our manpower is precious, but bullets are cheap. True words have true words have never been spoken. No, so this might not stand. Assumption will be bad, and we'll probably be using cavalry recon a lot. Does buffs. I gave him self so I can go further. Invasion preparation is not just for oh that's naval invasion. Might have that Let's see. So I, I tend to use a lot of support companies, so it'll probably be Superior firepower the way is the way to go. Probably won't have researched construction two by the time I got this complete, so may as well just go for expand military capacity and get some factories that way at least. Not be a bad shout. Guns. All right, finally get a spy agency. Calling it Unothic Viscera, which be roughly the Office of Inquiry. I don't know why, I'm just making this sum up as I go. And I'm going to be trying to rename as many things in Irish as I can, just, just because I've actually spent some time trying to look this up and figure out what it would be. Does mean I'll need to manually do these again, but you know, manually need to rename things, but it is what it is. Well, now our first agent, Jack Brooke, has British nationality, so he can sneak into Britain much more easily. 
probably going to get more of these guys. Factories, of course. Very quickly motorize the arm because that is a one off cost of 25 power to reduce our motorization cost by 5%. It's too good to pass up. You can see how the cavalry gun will buff all of our infantry in addition to artillery. Artillery is already provided by the base game. But road to 56 means we can buff our infantry that way by just providing some snipers. Yeah, I, I don't know why that isn't in the base game. Yep, Spanish Civil War has happened again. This time the car. Oh, yeah. Already did happen. Now the anarchists are messing things up. Interesting to see just how much of a difference I do make. So the, the, the election I'm waiting for probably won't happen until the end of July. What I'm going to do is go for this and then this, just get a, a flat uh, political power gain per day and reduce our consumer, consumer goods, goods requirements. And then try and just spin my heels until, until, until this happens. Now. now, I could, I, if I was playing Democratic, and I am at the moment, I'd go with this, but long term, I think this might be the best for us, because it gives us some extra XP, and reduces our land doctrine costs even further, a little bit, much. Let's see now. Basically, saving my political power to get this um, elusive gentleman to try and buff up the spy agency a bit. Which I can really do without that. Let's we'll start looking at some um, better planes because we're going to need them. This will take 70 days, so. Probably two months. Main reason I want to have the time available is so that I can immediately go into this to get rid of that that annoying debuff, and then get uh, this to get a factory and dockyard, and this to get rid of some another debuff, so I can start building things better, quicker. You know what I mean? Well, the Marco Polo Bridge instance has just happened. Gangs are staying out of things. And it took a bit longer for that to pop up. Oh, well. I'm going to try to fill out as many of these as I can get away with. Maybe so I have this ready to go once at the factories. Oh, Commander Chain would be helpful as well because they they're, they can do better jobs at infiltrating things. Seeing ciphers and that sort of thing. Well, here's our Choice between being a foil and being a gale. I go with being a gale here because at twenty days, once I've got this for the extra power gain, go straight in here to get to get rid of this debuff. Then go through here. Then I need to go through this and then this. Right for air doctrines, I'm just going to go with strategic destruction because we need to buff our fighters. I could also do that with the. with operational integrity because we strategic bombing is not going to be much use to us but... actually i'll go with operational integrity i know it's a bit weird but probably end up putting them on interception anyway because we won't have a lot of forces to begin with Like, hmm. it's just material. Yeah. Medium airframes, not gonna bother with those. Honest, I'm just gonna go with branch, branch independent spirit because 0.2 art, air XP per day, too good to pass up. 
Hmm. A strike wouldn't be. Yeah, I'd almost usually go always go with centralized control just because of just everything. Extra air superiority wouldn't be bad. That's a while away anyway. Get this so I can get it as a prerequisite for first industry. Do what would you do now? Those to search the basic sub. So we are finally gaining more than one political power per day. Part of that is because I got rid of a certain deep of that or a deep buff. But there is also the fact that we've got stable currency. So once I've got these, that'll give me a dockyard. So basically, the way these treaty ports work, as far as I can remember from the history, is that after the War of Independence and the Civil War, Brits held on to some ports in, um, I think, definitely Cork, possibly Dublin. I really need to read. I am Irish, but you'd think I'd know this better. Apparently not. Let's see. Cooperative? Excellent. So, yes, a seducer, I think. And start building up the net. In Wales, where we might get some from our fellow Celts. Oh, Beijing, big there. Ooh, what can we get here? Another infiltrator. The juicer. Safe cracker and master interrogator. On board, Jack Fitzgerald. Here in London, try and build this area a little bit quicker. Ooh, I'm gonna go with this because collaboration governments will cost less to produce. We're gonna need that. Of course, now I've got uh, the factories to actually build that. What it is. Right. Go save the political power for the Sean Lamas or Douglas Hyde. Because I'm going to be locked out of this fella if I. If I. Do go down this path. Can't get this guy because I didn't go with the scale of being a foil. Right. What do go with if I was if I was siding with the allies, I'd probably go with fleet and bean because I can then build on this to get these two. But as I can't, so there's not much not much means trade interdiction it is. So yeah, I need to build a naval base down in work now. Just enough to refuel my ships and stuff. Well, just got this. Now we have the Government and Britain and France have just created an alliance. I'm choosing to take that as the Brits are nervous about us. So next thing's next. Hmm. Probably gonna go with this because consumer goods and lack of resource penalty would be really helpful. Research speed would be nice, so would production efficiency retention. But I think this is probably better, and it does make sense because agriculture is still a large part of our economy. Now, it goes straight to work on the meat. There's even less some um, that goes required. And once I've got that, I'm going to go into protectionism, then raise the Irish Brigade, which gives us. What was it? Gives us an, a mountaineer unit. And then this to gain some extra factories. I think we're, we're cozying up to the Germans a little bit now.
I'm not sure what that flag is. Oh, oh yeah, this is going to require a loss. Factories, a lot of guns, and a lot of support equipment. Do we even have all this? We do, just about. Support equipment. Oh, that's going to be cool. Ah, yes, we've lost this guy. Now we have this guy, which is going to take this up even faster. The first Admiral is bold yet craven. <laughs> the hell does that work? Eh, blockade runner is actually sensible if he's going to be combo raiding. Get anything else for him? Lone wolf, concealment expert. That might be handy. Oh, need to get him up to level four anyway. I think I'm going to leave it there, because um, let's start, we've got started on things. We just need to see how this, go how this goes. I don't know how, or if I'll be able to land on the UK. Unless if I build up a few uh, collaboration governments and then take Belfast, that will probably... Hmm, Belfast and Douglas. Anyway, we'll, we'll see how this goes in the next episode. See you in the next one. Bye for now.